Carolina is the perfect site for a First Amendment Day and Freedom to Read celebration. For more than 200 years, young people have come to Chapel Hill to hear ideas they never heard at their parents' dinner table or in their small North Carolina towns where they were raised. And I think that when they hear the books that have been banned, um, they're shocked by that because they're often books they've had in their you know, childhood libraries at home. Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak, which was challenged because of its subversive psychoanalytic overtones. <clears throat> they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Listen to the mustn'ts. Listen to the mustn'ts, child. Listen to the don'ts. Listen to the shouldn'ts, the impossibles, the won'ts. Listen to the never haves, then listen close to me. Anything can happen, child. Anything can be. Hi, I'm Holden Thorpe. I will be reading From the Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. If you don't know why I'm reading Catcher in the Rye, then you need to go to high school again. <laughs> Recently, it was challenged by the Somerville, South Carolina School Board because, and this is a direct quote, it is a filthy, filthy book. It's easy to celebrate your own First Amendment rights. It's a little more difficult to be tolerant when other people exercise their rights. And that's one of the things we hope students learn here at Carolina.